Good morning. Um, I woke up uh, just overwhelmed by God's love today. And I thank you, Father, that you give your word, which is true and honest, Father, that there's nothing that we can't trust about you, Father, that you are never going to cause us harm and you're never going to take it, let us get too far away that you can't reach us, Father. So we praise you. We ask that these words that come out of my mouth be yours in Jesus' name. So anyway, um, I really feel I got to talk about honesty and some miracles that have happened. You know, um, it's funny because um, I used to think miracles were these big deal things and um, God's been showing to me that um, most of the miracles are in the mundane, like breathing and watching the colors of the leaves and stuff. And um, and I started to realize, and I read the Elijah and Elijah story in uh, 2 Kings 2, and um, I'll tell you, I was really... Uh, uh, May 2013, I really heard that I was to serve the servant, and I'm good with that. I totally want, I don't mind doing that, and that's my heart. Um, and then um, I get into this ministry, and I'll tell you, it flowed when I first got there. And then I brought some stuff in from people that I allowed um in my life it was only an instant but that's all it took um, to break the flow and the um, unity um, that was coming um, it was taking time to work itself out yet God was working it out um, and I blew it apart by allowing these people to speak into the, this man's life and um, I screwed up real bad <laughs> but before that in December um, the Christmas party we were having, um, eight days they were saying it was going to be torrential rains all Sunday, all that day on Christmas. So, um, I just kept praying. I wasn't listening to the weather. I, w I, I kept telling everybody, I don't want to know the weather because I tr I'm trusting God on this and he's not going to let it rain. Oh, it's going to rain all over. Da, 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 da. Well, you know what? I don't care. My God is greater than your weather forecast. So that Christmas party went off and there wasn't any rain. Of course, it rained after the Christmas party, but man, did I rejoice. I said, I knew it. I knew it. I was dancing. I was like, yes, my God can stop the rain. And I, like a week later, I was outside and it was really pitch black. Not even a moon. There was no stars. And, um... I just prayed and I said, God, I really need some light. You know, it's always so dark in this area. And um, all of a sudden these clouds come rushing. I mean, there wasn't even a cloud in the sky. And it lit up like like the noon. And it was like, wow, I've never seen nothing like this. I dance before the Lord in the courtyard for an hour. And I was like, God, are you happy with my praise? And it was like a smile came and the clouds went away and I, it was over. I didn't, you know, I want to praise God all the time, you know. And I always pray for everything that I I want. And um, I prayed for almost three months because my favorite perfume is Sweet Honesty. And... Um, one day I open up a box of donations and the Lord tells me there's something in here for you. And man, there was this and a bottle and a thing of the powder. And I'm like, well, I just want the perfume and I got to share the powder <laughs> with one of my girls um, that, I, that I love. And um, she was like really excited. Are you serious? I'm like, yeah, God gave me a bottle of perfume and a bottle of powder, but... You want the powder, you can have it. And she's like, really? And so we were, I was like rejoicing because he, the simple answer to prayer, you know, it's a miracle. Um, no matter how big or how small you think that is, the miracles are great. You know, um, there's victory when um, you trust God. 
um, with your, with your life. And, um, it's really, uh, strange cause I'm back to a place that I needed to come to learn so, and gain more, some, some more clarity on what really occurred in, um, while they were inside that ministry when I didn't have this man's back, man, I really, really fell short. And, um, now whatever was to happen there isn't going to, um, cause I don't even think that man can forgive me. I mean, I, I, I know God will forgive me and in time, I can, I'm pretty sure I'm getting to that forgiveness already because I've really, I dumped it yesterday, man. I dumped all the junk from all the pain that I caused this person, you know. Um, I'm really an imperfect person. I'm a pride-filled person looking for humility. Surrendering for humility, you know, I really want to be a humble person and um, that's my desire. Um, I like to be honest, you know, it's funny because I was having a conversation with someone the other day and they said, I'm an honest woman and, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm like, really? And and I'm asking and God says, mm-mm, mm-mm. Honesty. See, I lived with a man in sin. I, I fornicated be, even during coming out of coming out of the world, and um, but I ne- yeah, I never did anything to hide or cover it up. I mean, the second time I fell into it in knowing um, was a lack of maturity. Yet God has shown me that. Um, his grace is sufficient, yet we must repent and turn away from it. So I never want to go into that fornicating part again. Yet it's tried to get me, and I say I press delete on it. It's tried to get me, something's been trying to get me to allow something outside of me to control me. Like, um, outside of God to control me. So I've cut off the tie, um, and I'm literally looking to get, to move. Um, because I don't need to be controlled. I don't need to be told when I'm going to eat, uh, what I'm going to eat. Man, you're not my spouse and you're not God. I'll do what God says. And if you're a part of that, then so be it. Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm excited for the change. Um, I don't know where I'm going yet. I'm packing. (laughs) I got nervous when my cases went away. It was like, no way. What if I have to go in the middle of the night? <laughs> you can't take my cases and put them away. I got this. But because they weren't in a special place or didn't this, that, it didn't matter. Yet, I know that there's only perfection in one, and that's in Jesus Christ. And I'm not perfect, and I, I don't even pretend to be I'm going to love you, people where they're at. I'm not going to sit in judgment of them because, man, picking up that mirror of self-reflection might be a hard thing to do, but I'd far rather have that than have that hammer of judgment in my hand, you know. And uh, I've been that person that's hammered people through judgment. I can't judge you for your sin because, man, it makes my sin look like, makes me look have to look at my sin you know and and I don't mind I don't mind being clean and open to people cuz there's got to be a transparency there or there's no integrity there there's no integrity in covering your sin there there's no integrity in in withholding truth and in, in living in a lie you know and um I'll tell you I really love this guy and, uh, whew. I rejected God's love, so I rejected this and, uh, fought. I'm kind of a fighter, but not like physical anymore. I, I fight, I fight love. I fight God with love. Um, I love God. This stuff's easy, loving Him. This stuff gets hard. It can be a tangle hot mess. (laughs) 
So um, there's not a lot of scripture today um, because right now God's just really showing me that whole chapter of love, 1 Corinthians 13, you know. And 1 Corinthians 13, 13, Meanwhile, these three remain faith, hope, and love, and the greatest of these is love. And let me tell you, the greatest gift God has ever given me is his love. And uh, to remove the, the lie that love is violent. Because love isn't violent and it doesn't control. So we praise you, Father. We give you thanks. And we just, I ask you to bless everyone in Jesus' name. Thank you.